Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're playing Zippy. Now the constructor of this particular puzzle, GDC, I think had a lot to say about Zippy. Now for those of you that don't remember, this is the assistant that used to appear in Microsoft Word. I think it was like Office 2000 was the first version of it that came up. And uh, you didn't always need to stick to the paperclip. So I think from memory, there was like um, an assistant that was that looked like Albert Einstein. I used to change it to him. Problem was, of course, it made you feel like Albert was quite idiotic since the assistant was always pretty useless. So I think in all of this frustration, GDC created something that um, I guess is an homage to that annoying paperclip that we've all seen probably in the past. Um, Office 2000 means that this may be a bit before some of you may remember, but I imagine it's at least in common culture now that everyone would recognize it. Uh, and obviously you've got the paperclip here, front and center of this particular thumbnail, and just the amount of clutter, which is my sentiment about the paperclip, taking up real estate that actually just doesn't really add anything. Right, shall we take a look at today's puzzle? I should warn you, it is a bit of an unusual puzzle in grid in that it's only six by six, but GDC has split it up into exactly four squares. And we're allowed unusual digits today. So let me take you through the rules and um, hopefully we'll get this right. So it's normalish, Sudoku rules apply. So that means place the digits zero to eight in every empty cell. So there are no repeated digits in any row, column or three by three box. Now, clearly, the fact that we only have six cells means we're not always going to place all of the digits zero to eight. Um, we do have a nine cell box, so three by three. We will have the digits zero to eight in every box, but not in every row, not in every column. We just need to ensure that the digits are unique. We have every three cell sequence on the teal line contain one digit from zero, three, six one from 147 and one from 258. So essentially I'm sort of interpreting this as an entropy line. If this was a zero and this was four, well four, then essentially I've taken one from group one, one from group two, and I need one from group three, 258. Then you go back to group one, which was zero, three, six, but obviously I already placed the zero, so that would be three, six. This would have to be from one, seven, and the circle goes round. It even dips outside of box two for a bit. We also have zipper lines. So digits on an equal distance to the hat on the lavender line must be a hatted digit. Huh? Oh, I see. No, I, let me reread that. Digits on equal distance to the hat on the lavender line, sum to the hatted digit, excuse me. I found these, I missed the sum bit. So imagine that this is six or something. Any two cells, such as these two cells, that are equal in distance from the hat must sum up to six. So that could be one and five, or of course, two and four. As long as they sum up to whatever is contained in this cell here under the hat, you're good to go. Uh, we have crop key dots and an X. Let's talk about the crop key dots first because um, your GDC has revealed, I guess with his googly eyes of paperclip or zippy, uh, we've got essentially crop key dots, black crop key dots specifically. So the digits have to be in a two to one ratio. If that was a two, that could be, for example, one or four. As long as one cell is the double of the other, you are good to go. Now imagine that this wasn't a black dot, but this was a white dot instead. So instead of one, four, this could be one, three. They would have to be consecutive or one away from one another. Lastly, we have an X, which thankfully, I don't even have to draw today, it's not hiding under the fog up here. Um, so these two cells that are joined by an X must sum up to 10. If that was a two, for example, this would have to be an eight to add up to 10. Well, if you wanna travel down memory lane, remember how annoying Zippy was, or maybe it's actually something that you look at as somewhat fondly um, a way of just passing time when you were just lost for words in terms of what to put in your word processor. 
Link will be in the description down below for you to play along as usual. And with that said, all I have to do is restart the clock and see how I get on. So you know me by now, three um, digits on in terms of black croquet dots, they have to be unique. They're going to be from 2-4. Sorry, I paused there for a second. I don't think I can make either of these digits 8. Because we're still on the zipper line, and every cell in this zipper line, oh, except for this one, of course, so 8 has to appear on the zipper line in box 1. Now, potentially, I could put an 8 in here, which is 1, 2, 3 cells away. And yes, I can actually have a 0 today. So 1, 2, 3 cells away. I could put a 0 in here. But it doesn't matter. I'm still repeating the 8 on the hat. So that still breaks the normalish Sudoku rules. So I don't think I can have an 8 in here. Well, an 8 anywhere in this run. This is a 2. This is 1 and 4. And I, I'm pretty sure this has to be an 8. Because anywhere else that I put an 8, again, even if it's married with a 0, I still will repeat the 8. So that's an 8. Which makes this very awkward if one of these is a 4. We're going to have to join it with a second 4 to make it add up to 8. That's clearly not going to be this digit because its partner is here. This digit is partnered is there, so we can repeat it. And that is a break-in. Where else do we go from here? So we have the digits from 0 to 8. 1 clearly goes with a 7. The 0 has to go with an 8. So the 0 is going to be in one of these cells. In fact, the 0 and the 6 have to go with digits outside of the box because I've already placed them. So these partners are 3, 5. These are the 0 and 6. And we have something very strange going on here. This partner, this cell partners with this cell. This cell partners with this cell. So I'm just adding, you know, 6 goes with a 2, 0 goes with an 8. And then we have this strange cell in the middle. No, it doesn't. Sorry, my mistake. Have I done this correctly? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that looks correct. Then this is, oh, this is doubling up. This is partnering up with this cell. But it's also the partner with this cell. This is so confusing. Yeah. Essentially, you've got both segments of the line going through this cell. So this is actually playing a partner. You can see the top line segment with this cell, as well as... I'm, lo I'm losing my mind. Hang on, let me just think about this. This is here. Yeah, the bottom segment, excuse me. And then the top segment is partnering with this. So 2 and 8 would put another 0, 6 in here. And then this 0, 6 would put 2 and 8 there. Thankfully, we have a 2 in the column that removes the 8. The 2, I'm guessing that makes this, makes something 0. Let me just, again, <laughs> make sure that I'm looking at the right ones. The 2 makes this a 6 for sure. Therefore, these are 0 under Sudokish rules. And um, yeah, it's going well okay. Right, I was thinking about this x at the top because remember to get to 10 you need a low digit with a high digit now we've used two of the high digits and there's only a third one available which is a six so this is four six for sure so i meant to say zero in here not nine um which actually gives us the entropy color i'm not going to use blue yellow and red because i will probably confuse myself and think that meant to mean low, medium, and high. So zero, that means this has to be from the same group. So that's got to be the six. That is the four. And no, that's the last one in the group. And because it can see both zero and six, it has to be three. Four is from a different group. I'm going to go with orange. That is going to be there. And then finally, we have yellow for these. 
Now yellow, sorry, orange was 147. This is not one, not four. This is a seven. This is the one. Um, we need to have a repeat purple. It's going to be the zero, zero. I'm going to keep typing nine regularly here. And these are from two, five and eight. I don't know if I can actually fill in any of them at this point. Well, this is not an eight. This is not a two. This seemingly can be any of them. Okay. Can't play the same trick here again, can we? So clearly two eight is not available. Seven three is six four isn't because we've got the four. So this is seven three. That three tells us the order. That's three, that's seven. That is not resolving anything up there. What can this be? So there's like tons of options because we don't actually have to place all of the digits zero to eight in every row. So we've got zero, one. I don't know if I want to do this. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five and six. Not very helpful. I'm guessing we need to think about the crop dots. So I need, you know, a trick you can always use with white crop dots because they're consecutive. One of them has to be even, one of them has to be odd. Now, in terms of even digits, I've used all of them, 0, 2, 4, and 8, except the 6. So the 6 has to be in here, and because where it is, it's not clearly going to be in this, so it has to be the 6. And this is 5 or 7, we've got a 7 up here, that's a 5. I'm probably just missing Sudoku tricks at this point. Uh, we obviously need to place all of the digits in here. So I will come back to that and think about it. And we have to place all of the digits in here as well. So I may as well just think about these. Oh, three, looking at a five, looking at a three. That is not a five. We have three different pairs. Um, we need a three in here. This three tells us the order. That's three. This is to finish this box one and seven. Right, we've nearly got this. Haven't actually removed any options from here. So I think we can somehow play the same trick again. We don't have that many odd digits. We've got four odd digits. One, three, five, and seven. We've used two of them in here. In fact, we've used one as well in this column. So this needs to have a five. It can only be in here. This is two or four. I mean, clearly it's got to be the four to connect on the white crop key dot so that's four this has to be one with either there a zero or a two it doesn't seem to have a problem with either but one and five are definitely not in here let me think this through so i could do well i can't do zero because that's not a double of four neither can one be here so this is two this is one that gives me seven that gives me one this is now eight which gives me two, five, eight up there, eight. This is zero, six, has to be zero. I need to place all the digits in the boxes. That zero tells me it's not in here. That's a zero and a six for the finish unless I've made any mistakes. What a fabulous puzzle. I think it's probably the most enjoyable part was the normalish part, um, not having sort of rows and columns having all the digits kind of really does play with your mind a bit you really have to rely on the boxes a lot more and that's quite a different constraint to play with so thank you very much for the puzzle gdc that was fabulous um, a nice easy weekday puzzle um, if you just work through it systematically hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle like i did and the video and see you back for the next one bye bye for now